or this is how much you're profitable. This is the this is the summary of what you need to know. People get wrapped up in really small details that mm -hmm. are not that important. Now, then again, there's the other side where people are like, I don't know, and I don't care. Yeah. So th there's some place in the middle where you're like, you you got to know some. Um, I, I think you have to have a, a an understanding of it, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Let the financial advisors and the and the CPA tell you this is how it's going and this mm -hmm. is what's happening and this is the summary and this is really what you need to know because I think people get wrapped up in the details and they get too caught up on it having perfectly or the opposite they don't have anything yeah so it's like so it's somewhere in the middle not too much not too little um, obviously if you have a background of financial great and so you understand that but I think a lot of people that are running their businesses they're doing what they love to do and they're doing what they're good at but they're not really paying attention to the financial side so I think there's needs to be some help there to just kind of understand where they're at um, and kind of have just have some kind of verse in it but it doesn't have to be perfect yeah, what we tell business owners is you're an expert at doing what you do now have those experts that come around. And so, I mean, we'll get into business valuations, but, you know, businesses sell in a range. They sell for a low end and a high end and uh, clean financials. And we'll dive into a little more clean financials absolutely move you up the needle to get that higher sure. multiple. Um, we. <clears throat> We have a client right now that uh, they are are still keeping track of their clients on a calendar on their desk and and invoicing like that. And so we've been working with them now for a year and a half to transition everything over to to some sort of accounting system. And, oh gosh, um, you, you you know, so having that stuff in place, it's it's kind of crazy to me. It's it's a pretty simple one, but it's a huge piece that will move the needle uh, for for buyers buying businesses. So. Where, where do financials come in uh, for you, Mike? So we're, I always tell people we're like, we're the organizer, right? So we're helping you, you're putting your personal financial statement together. We're putting all the bank accounts together, the um, investment statements. And then what we're also doing is asking you questions about your balance sheet, make sure you clean that up, right? So taking the personal expenses out of it that don't necessarily belong there and just really looking at certain ways that you can improve it. And then from there, we're the quarterback to the team in the essence of we will work with the other advisors on your deal team. Mm -hmm. So that way we're all, all able cohesively to work together and to put this together. And especially from a business valuation standpoint, it's there's a big advantage to us just putting everything together and sending it over versus the client who's running the business and trying to do all this stuff all at one time. Uh, when we're able to remove them, let them focus on the business while we focus on everything else, um, they really appreciate that. So, um, you know, still kind of hitting on the team aspect. 